dawn. The sun rises on this prehistoric European land. A lone pterosaur catches the morning breeze, gliding above the water to hunt. Down below, these islands resemble the modern Mediterranean Sea, fairly dry but full of life. The shrubland is home to many species, even a tyrant. Hey folks, Spino Dude here. I run a YouTube channel where I review dinosaur models and collectibles, but I also branch into other paleo-related content. I just want to send a big thank you to the Dino Feed for asking me on to narrate this episode. Make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe. Eotyrannus. The name Eotyrannus means Dawn Tyrant. It was thought to be an early relative of the later giant tyrannosaurs such as T-Rex and Tarbosaurus. Originally unearthed in 1995 in what is today England, it was only named five years later in the year 2000. When you are not even half the size of most of the dinosaurs sharing your environment, then you will find life can be very dangerous. Eotyrannus, however, was a swift and agile hunter. Able to evade danger, but also use its stealth and speed to catch prey tending to stay away from the much larger carnivores such as Baryonyx and Naovenator. Although, if they left scraps, Eotyrannus wouldn't shy away, instead it would wait its turn for an easy meal. Was it really a relative of T-Rex? Scientists are in debate. A recent study suggested that Eotyrannus was actually a Megaraptoran, more closely related to the likes of Australovenator and Megaraptor, but in turn, these are also debated to be either basal tyrannosauroids or even spinosauroids. However, some scientists believe it to be a type of stoxosaurid, which is thought to be a basal tyrannosauroid. The debate continues. Chasing smaller prey animals, this Eotyrannus has stumbled upon a herd of massive iguanodon. Huge, powerful herbivores, these beasts are not to be messed with. Even the larger carnivores would be wary around these animals. Eotyrannus was a relatively small carnivore. It is estimated to have been 4.5 meters long. Its weight, however, is given a much broader estimate of between 90 and 230 kilograms. Smelling a fresh meal in the air, this Eotyrannus follows the trail. Danger ahead, the much larger Naovenator stands tall over its freshly slain kill. Staying well out of sight, Eotyrannus waits its turn while Naovenator is still feeding on the carcass. Eotyrannus had long forelimbs, far longer than its possible ancestors, the Tyrannosaurs. These could have been used for holding on to prey, while it would still use its lethal serrated teeth to land the killing blow. Fossils were discovered in the Wessex Formation, which date to around 130 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. The hunt for this small mammal has brought Eotyrannus further along the river. A grunt and snarl can be heard up ahead. With its freshly caught prey, Baryonyx, a European relative to the massive Spinosaurus, stands proudly above its catch. Seeing Eotyrannus in the distance, it lets out a large roar to warn off the little scavenger. The dinosaurs of the Wessex Formation were varied, ranging from the large carnivores Naovenator and Baryonyx to the massive sauropods such as Ornithopsis. However, the environment Eotyrannus called home would eventually disappear as climate change led to sea levels eventually rising. Thanks for watching, folks, and a big thank you to the Dino Feed once again for having me on to narrate this episode. It was also fun for me to learn some more about this cool little theropod, Eotyrannus. Make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the Dino Feed and check out their other awesome fact videos while you're at it.